Final Cut Pro 10.8.1 is finally here. Now I am less than an hour from getting on the plane for 12 hours, so this video might be a little janky. The first change is that they fixed an issue that prevented audio playback when stepping through timeline clips with the left and right arrow keys. So if you had audio skimming enabled and you couldn't hear frame by frame playback, that issue has been resolved. It also fixes an issue that could cause some MTS files to play back without audio. I personally did not run into this issue, but if you did, I'm sure you're super stoked right now. And thirdly, it fixes an issue that could cause Final Cut Pro to stop responding when three finger gestures were used on a trackpad. I have many friends who do use the three finger gestures in Final Cut Pro, looking at you, Matthew O'Brien. And so I know they're gonna be super stoked that this issue resolves. Now there are some things that have been fixed that were not addressed here in the patch notes. The largest one that I personally am so excited about is that my ProZooms plugin is finally working properly again. Previously, if you use ProZooms on a non 16 by nine timeline, you were unable to make any changes to the on-screen controls. So for example, I couldn't adjust the size of the zoom and I couldn't zoom in here on my eyeball. That issue seems to be resolved now and all of the on-screen controls should be working properly. That said, because I'm literally about to hop on the plane, I have not been able to thoroughly test this update. So make sure you back up Final Cut Pro before downloading the update. To do so, go to Finder, go to Applications, look up Final Cut Pro, right click on it and then select Compress Final Cut Pro. This will create a zipped version that you can later uncompress if you need to go back to an older version of Final Cut Pro. If you're not seeing the update in the App Store, just jump into your updates in the App Store, then push Command R to refresh the page. If you're still not seeing the update there, then you might just need to wait a few hours as they roll it out country by country. I definitely wasn't expecting anything major with this specific update. I'm just very excited to see a lot of these larger bugs getting squashed. If this video was helpful to you, consider press that like button, consider subscribing, and you might wanna check out this video where I do a deep dive on my ProZooms plugin for Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.